my name is Charles. I'm from Germany. I came to Ghana to visit my cousin and during the time I also volunteered at the party organization. This volunteering job was not my first job. Um, I already like worked at our local church group for multiple years with children, and then also at university. I had like uh, a part in the organization called Erasmus Dream Network, where I worked with international students. And the last thing um, I did with volunteering was like giving food to homeless people, like every Sunday. So the reason why I was like uh, trying to get a volunteering job was I really wanted to get to know the people a little bit better here in Accra or greater region of Accra and uh, I think like when you're at an organization where you work with children, they are from like the local parts, you get to know the people and I really want to get this opportunity during my stay. My role was like uh, kind of a teaching thing. I did like the art project uh, as I was together. Uh, we were like doing <laughs> different tasks. Uh, not everything was like as we planned, but yeah. And I also like participated as a math teacher. My experience was so far quite nice. I really enjoyed how everyone was really energetic and into the stuff we did and as well um, not everything went the way I was planning it but uh, still it was fun of uh, finding spontaneous solutions so I really had a great experience so far. So my expectation was uh, when I was coming to this organization that everybody would be like hopefully nice to me and and to take a little bit of care of me, show me around, and exactly did that happen. Everybody was quite nice, showed me around, and um, I learned a lot. I could ask any question. It was really what I was hoping for, and this happened. This moment, or like my fondest memory at the Fafali organization, was during the art project. I brought my camera and then suddenly everything was about the camera, the kids kind of went wild, they were like taking a lot of pictures, everybody had so much fun, they really enjoyed that and we were like a great atmosphere and I think like every time I was at art class or any other art class I really loved the, the energy and the fun and the, the power the kids have, Yeah, but this camera thing was like special to me. The biggest challenge I had so far during my Fafali experience was on my last day because um, I had the problem that we could not get the materials. I really wanted to finish like my canvas project but there was no way of getting any material. Yeah, so I first planned to do like some s small sketching thing but the kids were not that much into it so we finished the sketching thing and then we went on with playing games and that was also quite fun too. I think the Fafali organization really takes care of their volunteers and also they mentioned a lot of times to me that volunteering is like a key part of the whole organization and how the whole thing is like working out. So I think like volunteers are quite integral in the Fafali organization. Um, yeah, I would definitely recommend the Fafali organization to anyone I know. I think if you want to visit Ghana and want to meet some cool people and also get in touch with like the locals, it's a really good way to um, participate in the Fafali organization. And if anyone wants to come to Ghana, I would totally recommend this to them. Um, yeah, I really want to thank you all of the people I met at the Fafali organization, in particular Selassie who took care of like every one of my questions, really helped like to prepare when I was at home and also to Elvis who was like my partner in art class. I really enjoyed working with him and yeah, that was a really great experience so far. <laughs>